Dr. D.K. Sunil, Chairman, Hindustan Aeronautics. It's a big day for you, a big day for India, a big day for the Air Force, a big day for Atmanir Bharata. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's a very big day today that uh, we have the first uh, Tejas rolling out of our uh, HL Nasik plant, uh, which is the third line of the LCA. Uh, it's an uh, achievement uh, which has got few parallels that in less than two years, uh, we've set up a new line here and uh, a division which has been manufacturing Russian aircraft. We've produced about 575 MiGs. Uh, about 125 uh, MiG-27s, 270, uh, 220 of them of uh, the Sukhoi 30s. So this has been a huge uh, place for producing aircraft. And today they're producing this latest aircraft. And uh, it's very heartening that in less than two years we're able to reach this point. And tell us, for ordinary viewers, what is so special about the Tejas? How does Tejas compare? with the great aircraft of the world of its kind? Today, I think the Tejas is uh, no less than any 4.5 generation aircraft. Uh, you could hear the Su-30 taking off in the background. Uh, this is quite a frequent thing here. This aircraft is an extremely capable aircraft with a, a latest Azar Dar uh, and EW suite, very capable EW suite. Uh, it's got uh, an SDR and it's got uh, an array of uh, missiles and weapons. So, uh, f and if you look at it, it's got an aerial refueling probe so that you can uh, refuel in the air through a tanker. So I think it has got all the capabilities of a modern aircraft, uh, from avionics, from capabilities, and therefore uh, it's, it's a match for any aircraft of its category in the world. DCM? Yes, of course, the EW suite is there. It's got a very capable radar. So I think it's got what, what is required in this world today. The one point that was always talked about and has been are the engines. Because they are coming from GE, they have had problems, they have had delays. It's not your fault, but you've had to face this problem. Now how far are we, how close are we to a solution? Uh, as you know, we have received four engines and uh, four of the engines are already fitted onto the aircraft. I think uh, we've been in, uh, talking to the G continuously and uh, they've assured us that deliveries will happen. They've had uh, technical issues and uh, uh, they tell us that those are uh, now uh, sorted out. So we expect that uh, the engine deliveries will happen. Perhaps initially uh, the ramp up seems to be slow, but eventually I think we'll be producing this aircraft in numbers. And weapons integration. How do you see that happening? I think there is a, a test, an Astra test coming up just in a few days. The uh, weapon integration has been uh, successful as the aircraft is concerned. Now we need to actually test them in the range, uh, deliver them and see their accuracy and so on. Uh, that's underway. So I'm hopeful that uh, we will see some good results and uh, that will be one more uh, milestone crossed. Once we do that, because the aircraft is built, it has got all the systems, uh, so weapon integration and delivery. Uh, weapon uh, delivery will be the key thing. If that is done, I think we, are, uh, we will be hitting the home run. The government seems to want at least 10 LCA Mark 1As by the end of the financial year. Now, is that feasible? And what are timelines after that like? As I said, today we have 10 aircraft ready. This is the 10th aircraft, 9 in Bangalore. This is the 10th aircraft which are ready, which are already flown and uh, tested and ready. So I think 10 is not a number at all. I mean, not, not to worry. We have 10 aircraft ready today. Definitely we are going to build more and more aircraft and bring it to this situation. This has a Cat B aircraft engine, but it has been tested. We are waiting for an engine. So I think the quantities are already happening. So definitely we will be able to produce more aircraft. The, the uh, supply chain uh, is, uh, is running, the production lines are running, so I think the quantities will definitely run. You looked at 180, so you see that happening in about five to six years. Uh, 32, 33 is what we are saying, by which time the, all the 180 will be produced. Uh, 
by which time this ramp up will happen and when the air force also has to take them you must be discussing with them and all these final issues are being sorted out i imagine yes of course they are also part of the team it's not as if we have to talk to them uh, the air force is part of the test teams and we have these reviews regular reviews where they are updated and uh, they are aware of what's happening in the aircraft what's the testing what is the status so that's a, a regular affair so they are very well aware of what's happening and uh, they are very supportive of uh, the efforts one of course there is the issue of exports but that apart this is like your child to, on a day like this it's almost like you'd be giving birth you are you becoming a father yes uh, father for the third time i would say because we have two children already in bangalore this is the third yeah it's a great feeling uh, that uh, such a huge number of people we have uh, the design agency ada and ardc in bangalore and nasik is so far away but today we have built a seamless cooperation between them to produce such a complicated machine so that gives me great uh, hope for the future that we are able to work together across regions and spaces to uh, get this done it's a, it's a great uh, feeling thank you very much sir it's a great pleasure